Imagine spawning on a remote island and having to survive 100 days against deadly creatures. Okay, I don't know where I am. It looks like I'm on some sort of remote island in the middle of what looks to be nowhere. But what is this? It looks like there's a boat here. I wonder if there's other people on this island. Okay, this doesn't look very good. It looks like whoever's here must have crash landed here because their boat is completely griefed. And okay, at least there's a fishing rod and a little bit of food in here. So at least we have a little bit of a food source. But I I think what I should do, since I basically have nothing to my name, I probably should start gathering some seeds so that I have a permanent food source and I should gather some wood. Okay, and now that I got my tools, I think I'm gonna set up camp here because I'm not sure what creatures reside in this jungle and this looks like the safest place I could possibly be. So let's go ahead and start fixing up this base a little bit. And what I should do is go ahead and start building my farm. That way I now have a permanent food source and I'm not gonna starve to death. So that's, that's a good thing. I then spent the rest of my day gathering a bunch of wooden supplies, which I'll utilize when building my base. As nightfall set, I decided I'd be most safe to hide in this tree. Yeah, I know it's kind of weird. As I was unsure about how safe my surroundings were, I decided to be in my best interest to reinforce this ruined ship, set up some chests, and call this home for now. All right, now that the interior is finished up and we got ourselves a little base, let's go ahead and harvest our food. Okay, wow, I got three bread from this. I am gonna have to keep expanding this because I am not really gonna be able to live off three bread. But what I'll do for now is expand this farm and let's go find some animals nearby because three bread is not gonna do. Oh, a family of pigs. It's a little bit unfortunate. Yay! Okay, there we go. Well, the good thing is this island had a lot of cows. Let's go ahead and smelt up all this. And I'm gonna start building a mine shaft all the way down because I need to get a bunch of iron. My next objective was to get iron. So I created a tunnel leading straight down and attempts to find a cave, which ended up working. All right, well, that couldn't have worked out any better. Let's go ahead and collect all the materials that we can find here. Okay, I got all my armor. I'm just gonna grab this crafting table. Let's head back to base. Now that we're all suited up, it's time to go explore this mysterious island. I've been running up this coast for most of the day, but look at this. I found a bunch of trees that are all on fire. How the heck did this even happen? Okay, these fires definitely didn't start out of nowhere. What the heck are these things? Okay, I guess there's goblins on this island now. Okay, well, it's a good thing that we got a bunch of armor and we have a shield now. There's not only goblins, but a bunch of skeletons as well that are trying- Oh my gosh, what the heck is this thing? Okay, and a Apparently, it does a lot of damage. Okay, I am literally about to die. Let's run away for a second. And oh no, I've got nausea. I literally can't see right now. I don't know what the heck these things are either. I'm assuming whatever the heck caused the fire was probably from all these goblins here. Okay, we need to run for a minute. How all these goblins got here, I honestly don't know. But oh my gosh, they do a lot of damage. Okay, just a few more hits. We should be able to take these things down. Oh my gosh, dude, this poison is actually destroying me right now. This shaman is doing a lot of damage. And now a word from today's sponsor, Genshin Impact. Impact. Genshin Impact is an open world action RPG game available on PC, Android, iOS, and PlayStation 4 and 5. The game brings you to a magical world of Teyvat where you're able to adventure, travel, complete challenges, missions, and experience the seven unique elemental powers. The game's latest 2.6 update brings a ton of new content to the game. Explore a new area of the Chasm and try your luck with new challenges like the Vibro Crystal Research. In the new Archon Quest, Requiem of the Echoing Depths, you will investigate with an old old friend Dance Leaf, some ancient runes together in the dark depths of the chasm. This update also welcomes a first return of Kamiseto Ayaka, a five-star cryo character, who is the oldest daughter of the Kamiseto clan. Ayaka can easily deal cryo damage with her burst and skill. She can also access cryo infusion, making her a great cryo DPS. Thanks to Genshin Impact for sponsoring this video. Make sure you use my link in the description down below and use my bonus code for some in-game rewards. Now let's get back to the video. Okay, Come on, let's block my shield here. Okay, I think we killed the shaman. I don't know though. My screen was spinning so much. Okay, let's go ahead and take down this thing. Okay, by the looks of it, there's just the one shaman up here and one more skeleton thing I gotta kill. Come on, we can do this. There we go. Okay, I don't know where they all just came from, but it's a good thing I took down those goblins. I have a feeling there's going to be more goblins than just that. Guys, I'm gonna camp out on this tree for the night because there is a ton of monsters all around and it looks like the rain just put out all the fires. I am definitely gonna spend the next couple days though trying to figure out where these goblins are coming from. Okay, guys, I've been traveling out here for a while, but look at this massive tree I just found and there's a bunch of fire all around it. I have a feeling this is potentially where the goblins live. 
Okay, this tree is huge, and it looks like there's some sort of village or some sort of home up there. And yep, it is owned by all these goblins. Let's go ahead and try to take these things down before they kill me. And it's a good thing that there's no shaman here, because the shaman did a lot of damage to me last time. Okay, just a few more hits. And okay, we've taken down these goblins, but look at this place. Okay, wait, what do we got in here? Okay, wow, this actually has a lot of golden apples and some food. I did need food. Let's go ahead and take the rest of this stuff here. And the good thing is, there's a flint and steel here. I guess I might use this to burn down their village. Well, here goes nothing. I guess the only real way that I'm going to be able to take down these goblins is if I destroy their entire home. So let's light this thing up from the bottom and let it rise. And just like that, the fire engulfed this entire tree, completely destroying the rest of the goblins. Now, hopefully there won't be any more problems. And now that we destroyed the goblin village, I guess we'll head back to base, wherever the heck that is. Okay, guys, I just got to my base, but look at this. There's goblins all around my base and looks like they griefed it. I don't know how this happened because I thought I had eliminated all the goblins and destroyed their homes, but apparently there's more. I don't know where the rest of these guys came from, but it looks like, what the heck was that? I think that was a phantom diving at me as well. Okay, let's go ahead and try to kill these things. And my gosh, these things actually do a lot of damage. Okay, I think we got everything else, but look at this. They destroyed my base. And by the looks of it, I think there is some of them up here. Yep, there's an archer up here that we got to take down as well. Okay, I really don't know where these things came from, but let's quickly go ahead and take down this phantom. And I guess we're gonna have to repair my base now. The good thing is these goblins haven't really been here for too long by the looks of it. They only just managed to break through the entrance and there's a little bit of a hole in the wall here, but this is easily fixable. But oh my gosh, we definitely gotta keep our eyes peeled. Oh, another beautiful morning. Wait, what the heck was that noise? Hold on. Uh, who the heck are these things? It looks like there's a goblin running away from what seems to be some sort of gorilla. Okay, well, to be honest, that thing looks a bit too strong for me right now. I think what I should probably do is go back into the mines and potentially try to get myself some diamond armor because I do not want to try to fight that thing right now. Okay, guys, I just finished my mining and I got a lot of materials. I think I should probably head back to base and these caves are pretty interesting as well. Okay, guys, I'm traveling back to my base, but look at all these mobs and wait, what the heck is that mob? I don't think I've seen this one before and it looks like there's a bunch of lava coming from it and I regret not putting torches around in here because there is a lot of other mobs attacking me. Okay, this looks like it's some sort of fire bat or like lava bat and it just exploded. Okay, this is very cursed, but I mean, it is a painful video, so that's pretty normal, I'd say. Okay, and there seems to be lava up here as well. What the heck are those things? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna drink a fire resist. Um, okay, that actually does a lot of damage. I did not expect it to shoot like a magma block at me. Um, okay, let's go in for the hits on it. Okay, it just tried- Okay, it's actually picking me up and throwing me into the lava. I guess it's a good thing I drank my fire resistance potion because this thing probably would have easily killed me otherwise. And I think this is the last one here and look, it drops magma cream. Okay, that's gonna be useful. And there's just a lame zombie be here. Okay, buddy, you're not even a challenge. Okay, so I think I killed them all. To be honest, I have no clue where these things even came. Oh my gosh, wait, I, I literally have four HP. Where did all these things come from? And I don't even know where I put my golden apples. That honestly is not good. Let's use my bow and arrow and keep our distance from these things because that is an absurd amount of damage. And block that. Okay. Oh my gosh. Wow. Three hearts. And I think just another hit. We should be able to take him down. Okay. You know what? There's a lot of mobs over there and a lot of creepy creatures spawning on me. So I'm going to get out of here. Okay, guys. Just made it back to my base now. But what the heck? My whole base is on fire. Okay. These pyros are really getting out of hand. Honestly, I think it's probably best. Let me just grab what I have. Uh, is there anything in here? I'm probably going to start burning. Let's grab this water bucket. Maybe grab a little bit more food. And honestly, we got to get out of here. I don't know who just set my base on fire, but my entire base is gone. What I'm gonna do, let's find a new base to relocate. Okay, guys, I've been running out here for a little while, but I think what my game plan is going to be is I'm going to build a bait house and basically try to lure whoever set my house on fire over here so I could take them down because I have no clue who it is. So I guess I should get started on building a wooden base. Using some wood from the nearby jungle, I started by creating a big wooden bridge and I then created a wooden tower to bait the pyro. Oh gosh, wait. Why is there fire everywhere? Uh-oh. Okay, this is kind of good, but kind of bad at the same time. I guess I should jump down to water here, and it looks like it has worked. That's the pyromaniac up there by the looks of it, but it also looks like... Wait, is that a zombie? Okay, it looks like there's a zombie, and it looks like he's guarded by a bunch of these goblins. Okay, let's go ahead and try to take down these goblins, and okay, almost died to a creeper there. That would have been really bad. Okay, let's go in the water so we don't burn to death. Okay, yeah, so this is definitely the culprit up there, because as you can see, pretty much all 
all the trees and my entire build has been burnt to a crisp. So I guess baiting her did work. All right, well, now let's eat a golden apple and hopefully we can take her down. Okay, his name is Big Ugly Gorilla and I really don't know what he's on about. It seems like he's trying to burn down the entire jungle or something, but hopefully we can take this guy down. And it doesn't look like he has an insane amount of health, so we might be able to take this. Okay, the bad thing is I don't really have any health potions and I'm on three hearts. Okay, let's eat some of this. And okay, that's what we are gonna do to beat this guy. We've gotta use the water to our advantage. I think this big ugly gorilla will definitely destroy us if we get too close and fight him on land. So I definitely think using the water to our advantage. Well, okay. Yep. Thank God we have water buckets and thank God we're in the water. Okay. Let's keep our distance and get some shots on him. Okay, what the heck? He's got some shockwave ability. Okay, it's a good thing I got my water buckets here. And he's really, really slow in the water. So this is going to make our lives a lot easier. Uh, Dude, how are these goblins so fast? Okay, this is bad. These goblins are insanely fast. I need to run. I need to run. Okay, we need to be smart here. Let's place a water bucket up here and maybe climb up this tree. Hopefully they can't get me up here. This is my like last resort right now. Okay, it looks like I've been able to bow down the rest of them. I only have two more bread to my name. And that is literally all I have. So hopefully we could take down this big ugly gorilla okay and just a couple more hits we should be able to take down the ugly gorilla there we go okay let's take down the remaining foes it looks like he's swimming away and one more shot we should be able to take him down okay maybe two more shots there we go. Okay, well, now that we finished killing that gorilla, wait, what is that? That looks like it's like the gorilla's claw or something. Hold on. It is called the ugly gorilla's right claw, and it says it's extremely smelly. Um, I guess we can use this as a weapon. That's a little bit strange, but I guess we can go ahead and continue exploring more of this island. Okay, well, I guess we should test the damage of this new weapon. Here we go. Oh my gosh, wait, it literally one shots cows. Okay, this weapon is actually pretty good. Besides it being smelly, it seems to be pretty good. Well, I don't think there's any more food. Or okay, what the heck's happening? Why is my whole screen shaking right now? Okay, this is bad. I'm gonna go into the water because that was very sketchy. What was that? And okay, what the heck is that? Okay, that looks like a giant snake. I'm actually not gonna go in the water because I do not wanna be eaten alive by that thing. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go back into the jungle and find a new spot to build my base. Okay, guys, I'm not even joking. I am going to be hiding in this hole for the night because I do not have a home and I have nowhere to go. So what I'm gonna do, shelter out here for the next couple nights, gather a bunch of wood, a bunch of stone, and then I can start working on my base. After gathering enough sand, and stone supplies, I found the perfect area to create a fireproof base. Since I was in the sand, I decided it would be best to build a temple-like structure. And I made sure not to use any wood as I didn't want my base getting burnt to a crisp. Oh, okay. That was actually a pretty good sleep. I'm glad that we made this fireproof base, but why do I hear like flame? Oh gosh. Okay. This is not good. Okay. Well, the good thing is I didn't really use wood on my base other than there. But look at this. A bunch of the trees in the surrounding area are all burning down. And wait, what is this? This says this island belongs to the flames. Leave now? Okay. That is a little bit creepy. I'm not going to lie, but the good thing is my base is still intact. I guess this water really came in handy. Okay, I just realized I made a sword when I literally have an ugly gorilla's claw. Okay, well, it's a little bit of diamonds wasted, but it's not the end of the world. Okay, well, the good thing is I have full diamond armor now. What I'm gonna do in the meantime is explore some more of this island because something is definitely not right here. Okay, guys, I've been traveling out here for a little while, but look at this. I just found some boulder with redstone torches on it. What the heck is this thing? Well, I guess we could go inside. It looks like this is someone's base. What have they got in here? Okay, I have a feeling this is what of the pyros bases because they have fire charges potion of fire resistance lava buckets and flint and steel well you know what it's gonna be better in my hands it's better that i take this so they don't continue burning down this entire island uh okay they got a little enchantment set up in here and wait what is this it says tasks burn any and everything on this island and it also says acquire snakeskin armor apparently it's better than netherite okay well if you take a look at me i'm only in diamond if these pyros are gonna be getting full snakeskin armor, I am probably not going to survive. So I guess it's probably a good idea if I go and try to get the snakeskin armor before then, because I think if they get it, I am going to die. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and use our axe here and let's take all the supplies from this base, because honestly, I do not like these guys. All right. So I just cleared out their entire base and I went ahead and left a sign for them saying subscribe to painful noobs. That's right. If you're not subscribed to me, you are a complete noob. Okay, guys, I just got back to my base and I just noticed as well, I guess when they set my base on fire, they 
tried to set the entire thing on fire, but it looks like my cobblestone held up. And it looks like my cobblestone got turned into blackstone. Well, I guess it's better than my entire base being burnt down. I also just went ahead and enchanted all of my armor. Now I should be good to battle out some snakes. Well, I don't have any sign of anything unusual yet. Oh, no. Oh, no. Everything's shaking again. This isn't good. Please don't kill me. Okay, I guess I'll hide under the tree for now. Okay, it stopped. What the heck was that? It either seems like there's an earthquake or there's some sort of like volcano erupting or something. I honestly have no clue. Okay, well, I've been traveling out here for a few days. I'm still trying to figure out what the heck all that shaking was coming from. Like, this doesn't look like a volcano or anything. It's just a random lava pit in the middle of a mountain. Like, I don't, I don't understand what this is even doing here. I'm still trying to find any sign of the pyros. And Oh, gosh, wait. Are these the lava squids again? I'm going to drink a fire res potion and take this thing down because, yep, yep, they're trying to pull me into the lava right now. It's a good thing I preemptively drank that fire res because I probably would have just died there. I guess it's a good thing that we took down those squids because those things are nothing but trouble. But I guess we'll continue our search for some snakes because I really need that snake armor. Okay, guys, it's been a little while, but look at this. I found a bunch of rocks up here and typically snakes like rocks because they provide a lot of heat. And yep, I was right. There is some snakes here and okay, they actually do some wither damage or, or no, that's not wither. That's poison damage. Okay. Well, the good thing is they don't have too much health and I have a really OP smelly weapon. So I guess that works. But the issue is these only dropped rotten flesh. How the heck am I supposed to get snake skin to make the armor? Maybe I'll try to find a few more. Maybe that was just a little bit unlucky. Okay, guys, I found some more of these rocks. There's got to be some more snakes living around here. I, th I think I see some actually. Okay, let's take these things down and hopefully we get some of the snake armor because I really do not want to have to fight these pyro guys if they have the snake armor because I will most likely die. The good thing is my diamond armor is holding up against these little guys, okay? And I think that's all of them. And it seems like they only drop rotten flesh. Where the heck do I get snake armor? Wait a second. Something just clicked in my mind. What if the only way to get snake armor is to kill that giant snake that we saw in the water earlier on? Okay, that would be a little bit scary. Okay, guys, I didn't find any more snakes, but check out this. I found some sort of village or something here. Wait, what does this say? This says goblin headquarters. Uh oh, okay. Yep, they definitely see me. Let's grab our lava buckets and flint and steel that we got from raiding their base earlier. Let's go ahead and invade their headquarters now. And it's a good thing we got this really OP smelly weapon because it does a lot of damage. Okay, so what I want to do now is quickly start burning their village down because as you guys know, they've been burning down the entire forest and anything. So I'm going to go ahead and set their entire HQ on fire and hopefully get rid of the rest of the goblin. I don't know if there's going to be any more, but I'm going to go ahead and try to kill everything in this village. Okay, what the heck? There's a lot of them here. Hopefully, you know what? We're going to use our lava and stuff to our advantage now as well. Since these goblins want to burn down everything, why not burn down their entire HQ and try to eliminate the rest of them? Okay, I think I defeated their entire HQ. We do not want any more goblins returning here. So let's go ahead and burn this entire thing down. And I do see a chest up here. Hold on, what is this? It says goblin food supply. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and take the remaining food supply. That way, if there are any more goblins, they will not have any more food. Okay, well, while the rest of this place burns down, I think it's safe to say my job is done. I'm gonna get out of here. I then began my search for the volcano that kept shaking the earth. This has gotta be it, right? This is a massive mountain. And finally, okay, I feel finally found this volcano. This has got to be the volcano that kept erupting. But look at this. For some reason, there's like a weird hole in the middle of the lava. What I'm going to do is actually grab some cobblestone here and I want to see what the heck is in the middle of this hole. Okay, this is really strange. There's a hole in the middle of the volcano that looks like it goes down into the nether. All right. Well, I guess we should jump into that and see where it takes us. Okay, well, here goes nothing. Okay, come on. Wait a second, I just went through a volcano and now I'm in the nether and okay, that is a lot of wither skeletons there, but I guess I should probably go raid this fortress because I do need some brewing supplies anyways. And I guess I should probably take down these wither skeletons. Good thing I've got a really good weapon. Okay, and really, there's a gas shooting at me as well. Okay, let's go ahead and take this thing down. Okay, they actually do quite a lot of damage as well. Just a few more hits and we should be good. Okay, there we go. So here's the blaze spawner up here. Wait, wait a second. What? There isn't a blaze spawner. It says blaze spawner extracted. What the heck does that even mean? I guess someone took the blaze spawner. Okay, that's kind of strange. And wait a second. What is this? And oh my gosh, there is a lot of danger around here. Let's just quickly go ahead and block 
block off my back. And okay, what does it say? Pyro entry only. Wait a second. This must be where the pyros live and like brew potions, I guess. I don't know. This is very strange. Another thing I find really weird is there's literally bedrock here. What is in this chest? Okay, just some brewing supplies. I guess I'll borrow that. Thank you very much. And I suppose I probably should just take everything. I got the brewing stands. Let's grab everything and bring it back to the overworld. Okay, well, now that I've gathered everything here, I kind of want to know what's behind this bedrock wall. Can, can I get like by this wall or something? I, I'm assuming I could probably just dig around it, right? Okay, it's just a normal room, but okay, what the heck are these things? Okay, these are some sort of demons? I, I really don't know. It's a good thing we've got some good armor though, because it doesn't look like they do too much damage, but my gosh, this fortress is literally infested with these things, and it looks like they drop blaze rods and ingots and flowers. What a weird combination, but I guess this is a painful video, so it has to be cursed, right? All right, now I suppose we should get out of here. Okay, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I've been looking around, and I literally can't find my nether portal. Like, I don't know where it is, so I'm gonna wander around here for a little bit, and hopefully I can find it. Otherwise, we're probably gonna be stuck in the nether for quite a long time. I remember coming through the portal, and there was a bunch of these trees, but, like, I'm not seeing the portal anywhere. Like, where is this portal, man? Okay, thank God I found the portal. It was over here. I don't even know how I ended up on this side, but it is what it is. Wait a second. The portal is literally broken. How the heck did that happen? Okay, so now I gotta figure out how to get back in the overworld, because this is literally broken. So, um, what the heck is happening? Okay, where the heck did it just take me? That was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I was walking around trying to figure out how to get back, and then I got struck by lightning, and is that the volcano up there? What am I doing down here? Okay, what the heck just happened? Okay, well, the good thing is, I guess I'm back at my base. That was very weird. Um, at this point, I don't really know what's happening, but I guess it's a good thing we're back at my base. I am gonna go ahead and start brewing up some of my potions. Okay, guys, it's been a couple days. I've brewed up my potions. I've made a little nether warp farm, and I also went ahead and repaired the rest of my base. As you guys remember, my entire base got engulfed in fire, and I got rid of all the charcoal and replaced it all back with cobblestone. Now I say we go try and find that big snake. I think we're about ready for some action. Fully equipped with all my potions, I continue to search to find this giant snake. All right, guys, I've been traveling out here for a while, but look at this. I finally found what looks to be the giant snake, and apparently it's called Titan Oba. Okay, well, I guess we should drink our speed and strength, and hopefully we can take this thing down because I need that snake skin. Okay, that does a lot of damage. Okay, obviously, as we found out earlier, the snake skin is more valuable than netherite armor, so I kind of need to get it, and I don't know what he's doing right now, but I just saw that. Okay, yeah, he has a tendency to poison the crap out of me. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, maybe... Oh, no way. No way. I I have an infinity bow and I forgot to bring arrows. There's not a shot I didn't bring arrows. That was really, really dumb. Okay. I gotta splash my potions down so I don't die. And whenever he seems to poison me, it like I get stuck in place. Okay, this is not good. This is not good. Okay, we got him to half health. Let's keep running here. And let's use a potion so we don't die. I wonder if we can use our shield to block the poison. That's actually... Is it still... Oh, no. No, no. It's still doing a lot of damage. Oh, God. This is really bad. This is really bad. Okay. I only have three potions left. I actually need to try and kill this thing a lot faster. I have two potions left. Okay, here we go. Hold Hopefully we can take this thing down. It's almost down. Just a few more hits. Okay, I only have one potion left. We should be able to take this thing down. There we go. Okay, we actually defeated Titan Noba or whatever the heck its name was. But what is this? Oh, wait, this is the snake skin. Okay, now using this snake skin, I should be able to craft some really good snake armor. So I guess we should head back to base and try this out. Okay, guys, just made it back to my base. It's time to make our snake armor. Okay, so I think to make the armor, we just put the helmet in here and combine it with snake skin. And there is the snake skin helmet. Okay, we've got the chest plate, the leggings, and the boots. Now we just got to enchant the stuff and put it on. And I'm not gonna lie, it looks kind of weird, but you know what? We are in full snakeskin armor, and we should take a lot less damage now. And it looks a bit funny because I have a headband on. By the way, if you want to check out any of my bad line cosmetics, make sure to check out the link in the description below. Now, since it is nighttime and there's thousands of mobs outside, I'm actually gonna go to bed real quick. Okay, what the heck's going on? I literally just woke up and there's like a bunch of orange particles in my base. Oh gosh, dude, I can hardly even go outside. Every time I go outside, I'm getting attacked and it looks like there's a bunch of mobs out there. Okay, that's not good. I probably should try to brew up a little bit more potions and hopefully this storm calms down because it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to go outside. Okay, guys, I just finished brewing up a little bit of instant health. It looks like the storm has calmed down, but there was some mobs outside that I'm likely gonna have to take down. And what the heck is this thing? Okay, I do not know what this thing is, 
but it looks like, oh gosh. Okay, there's a lot of crazy stuff out here. Okay, let's go ahead and start by taking down the squids. And oh my gosh, this is really bad. Okay, it's a good thing we got our water bucket here. And what kind of bat is that, bro? That's some sort of weird bat. Okay, let's go ahead and take down these squids before they kill me. And okay, I think we, I th oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I literally have one more potion left to my name. And it looks like there's still quite a few things out here that I have to take down. What are these, some sort of mages? Okay, hopefully a couple more hits. Okay, we defeated it. Looks like there's just one more thing out here. Another one of these weird looking bats. Okay, that was really weird. And it looks like the trees caught on fire over there as well. I wonder if that storm came from the volcano erupting again, because that volcano has caused a lot of mischief from the short period of time that we've been on the island. Okay, guys, obviously someone on this island is trying to kill me. There's literally firestorms and a bunch of fire mobs that were literally just outside my base. So what I'm going to do is travel all the way back to that volcano because everything that is trying to kill me is fire. So it has to be coming from someone at that volcano. We need to find out who. Okay, I finally made it back to this volcano, but look, it looks like it's already overflowing. This thing definitely erupted and that's what caused all the fire around my base. The question is, where did all the fire mobs come from? There's got to be some sort of explanation. Okay, and I'm nearly to the top of this thing. It looked like it erupted, but Wait a second, what the heck is that thing? Quentin said, what? How did you survive? Okay, well, I guess it's safe to say Quentin has been the one trying to kill me all along. Minions attack. Wait a sec. Wait, where are you going? Okay, that is a lot of lava squids that came. What the heck? Okay. Oh, no. No, no, no. This is not good because I don't even have any fire resist potions. I already used them from last time. Um, oh, okay, that's not good. Wait. I'm not burning. Oh, wait a second. It looks like my snakeskin armor also gives me fire resistance. So that actually pretty much just saved my life. I'm not going to lie. And oh my gosh, these do a lot of damage. Let's quickly go ahead and bow this down because these lava squids are actually really, really OP. So I got to kill them before they get to me. Looks like there's just a couple more over here. Oh gosh, wait. Oh God, one's getting really close. So let's defeat it before it kills me. Okay, and it just looks like there's a couple more over here. Oh God, oh God, this is not good. Let me eat one of my golden apples here. Oh, okay. This is getting way too close for comfort. And... Okay, I think I defeated them all. Now we just gotta go find Quentin. Okay, I saw Quentin jump off the mountain this way, but I have no clue where he went. I feel like he could be anywhere at this point. Okay, wait a second. This does not look like it was naturally here. Quentin looks like he went down into a cave system. Well, I guess we should go down and try to take him out. Okay, guys, this cave system is a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I thought he was just hiding in a cave, but check out this. This place is absolutely massive. I have no idea idea where he would have went. Okay, this is really bad. There was like 10,000 tunnels and oh my gosh. Wait, that is li He went through bedrock? At this point, I have no clue where he went. There's 10,000 different tunnels. There's tunnels that go through bedrock. It doesn't look like I'm going to be finding Quentin here, but I should continue my search. I've been searching around this tunnel for a long time, but look at this. I just keep finding different tunnels that lead into the void. This thing can somehow break bedrock. That is a little bit absurd if you ask me. Okay, I've pretty much searched every crevice except this way. Okay, I actually see him. Okay, let's see if we can go kill him. Okay, he's a lot bigger when I get this close to him. I guess I'm gonna just go ahead and try to kill him. Wait, this is a barrier. I, I can't even get to him. He said, you're a little pest. I hope you can swim. What the heck does he mean by swim? Oh gosh, wait, what the heck? Where's all this water coming from? Okay, that's not good. We have got to somehow get up before we start drowning. Okay, this is actually really bad because we are in a cave and we will actually end up drowning if we don't get up in time. Okay, this is really, this is really bad. I am actually near the very top. Um, let's just use our pickaxe and hopefully, oh okay, God, this is bad. We are actually drowning and we dig really slow when we're underwater. Okay, hopefully we can get air up here. We are actually about to start drowning. This is really, really bad. Okay, hopefully just a few more. Okay, we made it out. Okay, it's a really good thing that we had a pickaxe. Otherwise, I probably would have started drowning there and we definitely would have died to that demon thing. Now we just got to figure out a way to kill him. Okay, guys, what I decided to do, I just made some doors and that way if there is a bunch of water going up, I can make some air pockets and I'll be able to breathe under the water. Wait, wait a second. All the water's like gone and wait, he's not even here anymore. Okay, that is really, really confusing. Where the heck did he go? The barrier's not here anymore either. I just made it back to the top of the volcano, but look at this. There's a bunch of water up here now. Okay, 
Okay, I'm assuming that this water is from him because he tried to drown me. But by the looks of it, there's a bunch of water that's leading down that way. If I'm going to find him, I probably should just follow this big path of water that seems to be going down this way. Guys, I've been traveling out here for a little while and I'm just following these giant pockets of water. It looks like this could be potentially his like footprints in the ground. I don't know why there's so much water coming from him, but it is what it is. I'm going to keep following these. Okay, guys, after a long time of traveling, check out this. I think we are on his tail because there's a bunch of nether area here and it looks like all the water has turned into lava. So, okay, yep, that is definitely him. He said, if water won't kill you, I'll do it myself. Okay, well, I guess it's the final fight against Quentin. Hopefully we can take him down. Let's drink our speed and strength potions and grab these. Okay, hopefully we do a decent amount of... Okay, speaking of a decent amount of damage, he hits very, very hard. And okay, hold on. Let's block his next hit, hopefully. Is he gonna hit? What? How did that not block? I was holding up my shield. Okay, this is really bad. This is really bad. Okay, that is a lot of damage. Let's use a health potion there and try to get a few more hits on him. We've got him down about 10% so far. Let's use some of our bow here. And wait, what the heck is that? There's an eyeball in his mouth. Okay, that is very terrifying. I am not gonna lie. All right, let's keep wearing him down here. I think our best strategy is to try to get a few hits and then run away, try to dodge some of his attacks. And okay, let's continue the bow spam here. Okay, by the looks of it, every time he opens his mouth, a bunch of fire comes out. So we need need to try to run away whenever he does that. Let's keep our distance here and get a few more shots at him. Come on, we can do this. Is he like immune to my shots? Half my shots aren't even hitting him. Okay, that was a new ability I haven't seen yet. He knocked us all the way back. I think, okay, wait. Oh no, that means fire. That means fire. That's not good. Okay, block. And while he's doing that, we should be able to get a bunch of hits on him. Okay, there literally goes half of my health. That is very dangerous. And what is he riding on? That looks like some sort of bug. That is the biggest bug I've ever seen. Let's go ahead and try to block some of that damage. And okay, let's run back and use some speed and strength potions. Okay, he's blowing fire. Let's go ahead and try to dodge as much as that I can. I only have three more potions left, so hopefully we can take this thing down. I'm really not sure the best way to take this thing down. What if I run across the lava since I have permanent fire resistance? I wonder if he's gonna take damage in the lava. I presume not, right? Let's stand over here and and get a few more shots on him. And okay. Yep, that lava is adding up. Let me tell you. Okay, guys. And by the looks of it, he is in the lava now. And it is not doing any damage to him. He's literally crawling across the lava pit at me. This could not be any more terrifying if you ask me. Okay, we've got a lot of shots. He's down to about half health. He's using his ability now. So let's go in and try to get as many hits on him as we can. Okay, dude. It's really, really hard to hit him. Okay. Oh my gosh. We nearly just died there. I only have two more health potions. Okay, guys. I'm using my last round of potions. My last round of speed and strength. We have to kill him now because once my strength runs out, I don't think we're going to be strong enough. to. Oh, God, this is bad. This is bad. Okay, that was a lot of damage. Once my strength runs out, I don't think I'm going to have the power to take him down. So we've got to kill him now. I'm going to keep my distance and utilize my bow as much as I can. And every time he spits fire, like right now, I should hide behind this. Here we go. Okay, we blocked all of the fire. Let's try to keep our distance from him. And okay, let's go for a couple hits now while he's charging at us. It looks like he's down to about three quarters HP. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is really bad. I only have one more potion left. He's about to use his ability now. Let's run over this way and hide behind here. Oh god, yep. There's a lot of fire. Let's let's get behind here. Make sure it doesn't hit us. And okay, keep bowing. Okay, guys, I'm going in for the finishing kill. Come on, we, we could take... Okay, for some reason, he's really hard to hit, but we should be able to take him down and... Oh my goodness. Okay. It looks like we were able to eliminate Quentin. And look at this. What the heck is going on around here? There's so much fire particles. Okay. Well, now that Quentin's dead and there's no more pyromaniacs running around this island, I think our job here is done. I think what I'm going to do is head back to my base. Okay, guys. I just made it back to my base, but I see some weird looking portal. That is very, very weird, I guess. Maybe I should go through it. I don't know why I'm like this, but I'm going to try. This looks a bit terrifying terrifying, but here we go. Okay, my screen is shaking. Where am I? This looks pretty interesting. Wait, who the heck is that? And little did I know, traveling through that portal brought me back to the medieval times.